Take me back to the start. You had such a great career at Ball State. What went into the decision to make the transfer? Um, so it's, it's nothing wrong with change. I feel like uh, change is, is a good thing sometimes. Um, I feel like I did my four years and I graduated, so I feel like I got my degree. So like, what else can like hurt me? Nothing can hurt me like going to a different direction, going to a new school and playing like power five football. Because I feel like coming out of high school, I should have had a power five offer, but I didn't get the chance to. So I feel like just to have one year left, uh, I feel like I can show people that I can play against power five competition week in and week out. So I'm just excited for the opportunity. Uh, so you talk power five, you start looking around the landscape. There's a lot of power fives that running back's kind of an afterthought now. How fortunate do you feel like you found a power five that not only likes to use a running back, but needs a running back right away? Uh, I feel real excited because, like, when I look at, like, I wrote down, like, all the schools, like, all right, I might have to narrow it down because signing day is approaching quickly. But uh, I, I looked at Kansas State, like, all right, they need some more running backs. They like to run the ball. Um, in the Big 12, they haven't seen like a pro style offense like they had at North Dakota State. So I feel like it was just a win-win in every uh, category. So I feel like just making the move here was just the best fit for me in general. You're an old guy by college football standards, and you got to start over. New coaches, new school, new places to go to class. How difficult has it been? Uh, so I'm in grad school. I'm taking um, grad school classes. So I feel like um, just learning the playbook and uh, grad school at first, it was kind of hard just adjusting and getting used to everything. But everything's kind of slowed down right now. Um, learning the playbook a little bit better and then school is starting to get a little easier. So um, just taking it day by day. What, what is your grad degree you're working on? I'm in academic advising through education. So uh, I was my undergrad was communication. So just flip it to do education. So, yeah. That's cool. What? what uh... I'm just going to ask a hard question here. Is this, are you doing the grad thing just to play football, or do you really want this grad degree? Uh, so I'm a first-generation uh, college graduate, so um, I graduated this past December with my undergrad, so I feel like I'm not just coming here just to play football. I'll be one and done. I'm actually going to get something out. I'm going to get my master's degree by the end of the season, so I feel like that's a big plus for me and my family, so I'm excited about that. That's really cool. What uh, What's it like to play for Coach Anderson and Coach your other coaches here? Um, I like playing for Coach Anderson because he's a laid back guy. He's gonna tell he's gonna be real with you whether uh, you like it or not. So if I'm if I'm wrong or wrong, he's gonna tell me and like the biggest thing I learned from him is like just seeing the bigger picture and like, working on your fundamentals. Like people always like running back, oh he got this many carry, he scored this many touchdowns, but nobody like focuses on like did he carry out his fate, did he give good pass protection and like stuff like that. So just focusing on the little things, the little details is that's why I like him a lot. Okay, you, you and Harry are obviously kind of the two guys. Who else kind of jumps out at practice in the uh, film room? Tyler Burns, he's a uh, pretty good guy. He got a high motor on him. Uh, he runs good routes, uh, can run in between the tackles, big get, big kid, and uh, can pass protect a lot. So putting him in the midst of the other guys and also the freshman that's coming in the summertime, I feel like we're going to have uh, turning a lot of heads when we play this season. They, this offense – uses running back, but they use running back. So you rotate three, four guys in. Is that yeah. a good thing or a bad thing from a running back standpoint? Um, that's a good thing because you obviously want to stay fresh. This game is like full of injuries. We never know who's going to go down, but it's always the next man up. But I feel like the more running backs that you use, I feel like keeping us all fresh will be uh, durable throughout the season. So I feel like that's going to be a win for the team and as the offense moving forward.